morning all. Now today's video is about this. It's a PIR sensor light and uh, it's one of my fairly extensive collection of PIR LED sensor lights from uh, this type here with two AA cells and eight LEDs. This one here with uh, just takes one AA cell and has four LEDs. This one takes four AA cells and has six LEDs. This one here takes two of the little AAA cells and has four LEDs there on the front. And then that one's the same as this one over here. Now, this one is slightly different because it doesn't take AA cells. It actually has a lithium lipo flat cell inside. And it's uh, sufficiently interesting that I thought I'd make a video about it in its own right. Let's have a look at the uh, outside for a moment. So there's the PIR domed lens and inside there is the pyroelectric sensor and also an LDR, light dependent resistor, so that um, the LEDs don't come on during daylight. There are two sort of uh, headlight lamps on the front there and also a bar of I think it's eight LEDs, uh, which rotates. It's quite difficult to do, but let's see if I can do it. it. Rotates through 90 degrees by turning that little gear wheel there. It's a bit tricky to do, but it does rotate. Now on the top, you've got uh, a USB mini connector there. That's to recharge the battery. Uh, there's also a brightness control. I'll show you how that works in a moment. And there's an on, off, and continuous. Actually, it's off, auto, which is um, PIR sense, and continuous. So if I put it on continuous, you can see that uh, the two headlight LEDs are on and the eight LEDs on the bar come on. Now, the brightness control just gives you different combinations of these lights. So uh, on low, you just get the LEDs on the bar. On, what is it, medium, you just get those two front headlight LEDs. And on high, you get all of them. Now what's curious about this is that the LEDs behind those um, lenses are cool white, and the ones on the bar are a warm white color. So it's a bit of a mishmash of colors slightly odd choice but there it is. Now on the back I've got two magnetic strips um, which enable me to stick it on my metal filing cabinet which I'll just demonstrate. So it sticks on there like that um, but I stuck those on it didn't come with those but now I'm going to take the back cover off and uh, take a look at what's inside. So here's the inside of the unit and you can see that stuck to that back plate there is a LiPo pack, 3.7 volts, 850 milliamp hours. And then down here, we've got a circuit board with uh, some wires coming off the back here, which go to that LED bar, uh, a couple of switches at the front here for the brightness control and the mode. And then let's have a look at what uh, ICs are on there. So the main chip here is a TM 2291, which is a Titan Microelectronics uh, PIR sensor chip. The only data sheet I could find is this Chinese one, but it appears that it's identical to the BISS 001, which is a micropower PIR motion detector IC. And in fact, it's the BISS 001 that appears in most of these other sensor lights. Now the LiPo battery pack has a PCB underneath that yellow tape. So my guess is that that is a protected pack. Um, you can see that there are various pads on it. Uh, the external wires come in on these middle two pads and then the cell itself is connected to these outer two pads. And I think I can just about see under the sort of green of the circuit board that there is a chip or perhaps a couple of chips. So I'm pretty sure that's protected, but on the circuit board, let me get my magnifying glass here. 
there is a little chip right in the corner of the board there which seems to have, if you follow the tracks, the positive and negative wires of the battery going directly to it. And this is another one of these mystery chips. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it. So there's the chip. It's a little SOT23 uh, 5 pin and it's called an H1MA and you can see there's a little logo there on the left hand side. But I don't think it's a battery protection IC because the pack appears to have battery protection. So the only other possibility is that it's some sort of charge control IC that, um, that recognizes when the battery is fully charged and so on. But I can't find this anywhere. So if anyone can find a data sheet for this H1MA, that would be very, very useful. Now there's something on this uh, LiPo pack that's bothering me slightly and that is there are a couple of dents here, two there and one over here. And those two dents there coincide exactly with two bits of wire which are sticking up from the PCB and they're these two here. And I've just removed the PCB and discovered that it's a green LED which comes on when you plug in the USB and when the uh, LiPo pack is charging. So what it looks like is that they haven't allowed enough clearance between the PC, the back of the PCB and this side of the LiPo pack. And that's a real bother because this thing was sent through the post on an aeroplane with these two wire pins pressing into the side of the LiPo pack. And I don't probably don't need to tell you what happens if you force uh, a metal spike through the side of a lipo pack basically it uh, explodes so I'm going to use these um, end on wire cutters to clip those wires down but I've got to be a little bit careful because this circuit is powered up and there's no way I can actually uh, unpower it because there's no switch on that battery I'd have to actually unsolder the battery connection so I'm going to do this off camera I'm just going to do it quite carefully so that's those two pins cut down. Uh, so I do feel a little bit happier now with the LiPo pack there that it won't be pressing into those two bits of wire. Now the other dent here, this one uh, just above the Z, uh, appears to be caused by that surface mount capacitor. And there's not a huge amount I can do about that. So that one, I think I'm just gonna have to live with Right, I'm not sure that these uh, battery wires will tolerate much more being waggled about, otherwise they're uh, likely to snap off. So I think I'll reassemble the whole thing now, um, having seen the horrors that are inside this thing. So that's my little review of this uh, multi-lamp sensor light uh, LiPo pack. It's different from all the others in that it doesn't use nickel metal hydrides. Now if I... See if I can get it dark enough to trigger it. Yeah, there it goes. So there are the cool white LEDs at the top and the warm white LEDs at the bottom. Now, if you're interested, I'll put a link to this sensor light and any of the others, in fact, uh, if, uh, if you'd like, in the description of the video, but only if it's asked for.